Hello all, here we are again with a, another infusion video. Uh, so a bit different this time, uh, we are making pomegranate vodka. Um, this will also work with uh, white rum. I've had it with white rum and very nice it is. Possibly plain gin as well. I don't see why not, just a kind of fairly neutral white spirit. Um, happy days. So, I have made this before and it's been a long, long time since I've made it so I can't actually remember the best way to uh, crack these pomegranates open. Although I've got some kind of distant, possibly blocked memory that it was a bit of a faff. So I might leave that off camera. Uh, leave, <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of do it off camera and come back to you and let you know the best way, uh, but we'll see. So I've got three pomegranates, around 100 grams of sugar, um, you can definitely make this sweeter. I have in the past, it was too sweet for me, for my kind of personal preference. Uh, so I went up to kind of 150 grams last time. Um, and this is gonna make, this is gonna make essentially, um, you know, a kind of standard 70 CL bottle. Um, so I'm gonna kind of guesstimate around 100, uh, but just depending on your preference, you know, feel free to kind of bump it up a bit or, or less. All of this is, you know, kind of experimentation really until you kind of dial it in. Uh, so 100 grams of just plain granulated sugar. Uh, I believe this is a one and a half litre kilner jar. 70 centiliters or 700 millilitres of vodka or your kind of spirit of choice, as long as it's fairly neutral. And a kind of red stripe just to keep me uh, <laughs> keep me going. Um, the, the, the CO2 keg has literally just ran out, so I'm on this. Right, so it is literally just a case of getting the sugar in. And getting all of the little tiny fruit pockets, including the seeds, obviously the, the fruit and the fleshy membrane covers the seeds, each I want to call them arils. You might want to check. You might want to check me up on that. But um, the little tiny fruit things—they're mostly just seed. Uh, but you do—you do still get quite a lot of flavour out of the, you know, the bit of flesh. Obviously, you can eat them. Uh, I don't want to crunch those seeds, so I'm going to make better use of them and make pomegranate and vodka. Uh, can be used with lemonade as a kind of a long drink, um, or feel free to you know put it in a cocktail. So whatever your choice is. Right, I'm going to crack this open. And uh, figure out the best way to do this. Right, okay. So, the outer kind of, not quite a shell, but it's not really skin either. It's quite thick. Uh, I've just made a rather gruesome uh, incision all the way around. And I think I'm just going to be able to kind of rend this open. So, let's try and not squirt juice everywhere. Oh, there we go. So... <laughs> not the uh, the nicest looking thing in the world admittedly but you are looking to get all of those of which there are many as you can see into the killer jar um avoid the white stuff you don't want that bitter kind of pith um and yeah i don't think there's going to be an easy way to do this so i'm going to try um, maybe a teaspoon. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, we've lost some onto the floor. And onto the countertop. But uh, yeah, I think this might be the way to go. We don't want the whole thing in there. Uh, it doesn't matter if the, uh, a few of them burst. We'll try and keep them whole. Okay, so this is obviously gonna take a little while. I promise you it's worth it. Um, have some music on in the background while actually doing it. Cause it'll probably take about five, 10 minutes per pomegranate. Uh, I'm guessing I'll finish the rest of these and I'll, I'll let you know.
Right, okay, I'm about 30 seconds in and that spoon is definitely not working. So I've already kind of found that the best way to do is just kind of split them into segments. So just kind of rip them apart uh, and just use your hands. Uh, kind of like, just get, just get, just get, yeah, just get kind of stuck in. Um, kind of splay them open. So just kind of like that. And you can see where you've just got like a load where you can just kind of flick out. So I'm just doing that. Um, it's just gonna take so, you know, look. So that's so much quicker. I've uh, got a little bit of pith in there, but you know, let's pull it out. I get rid of it, there we go. Oh, I think I've just, oh, yep, there we go. And just discard it. So that's definitely the way to do it. Just kind of, like I say, just kind of rip, rip them into sections, uh, splay them open and just kind of flick them out with your fingers. So that'll definitely be a lot quicker. Nah, it wasn't as bad as that. <laughs> so 15 minutes it took me, three pomegranates. Um, yeah, three pomegranates in a crime scene later, you would not believe those little juice pockets burst it just sprays everywhere, it's all up the wall here, on the cupboards, the little aerials, little juice pockets flick around, I've stood on a few, I mean, <laughs> it's not the most appetising thing in the world, it, it wouldn't be a miss off Alien that, it's horrible, um, but it tastes great, um, it's something a bit different as well isn't it, you don't, you know, you don't come across this kind of stuff, you know, in the supermarket, obviously you come across pomegranates, so if you pick them up, uh, if you see them, pick them up and make something different, I guess. Um, okay, so, like I say, it just goes everywhere. Um, but well worth it, well worth it. Ideally, you'd probably do that outside on a hot summer's day. Um, but it's night time here, and uh, never mind. So a couple of these strugglers. Um, get them in there. Oh, another one's on the floor, never mind that either. Uh, so obviously you can kind of see, you know, we've not got every single one out, but you can also see that we've got a hell of a lot out. <clears throat> and that's the main thing. A few little bits of white stuff, not too much. Happy days. So sugar's already in there. Hopefully I can get all of this in here. I think I should be able to. Oh yeah, easy. Okay. Close that. <clears throat> and give it a shake. So like with all of these infusions that we're using sugar, basically give this a shake, stick it in a dark cupboard, give it a shake every day until the sugar's dissolved. Shouldn't take more than a couple of days tops. So maybe give it a shake you know, a couple of times a day. And for this one, I'm actually going to leave it three months. Um, then I'm going to decant it, strain it all off into a bottle, just like this, with a stopper. And I'm going to put it back into the cupboard for at least, oh well, <laughs> I, I always say six months, but it's usually a little bit less. Um, we'll see how we get on. Um, yeah. And what you're gonna end up with is a super fruity, really nice, tall, fruity drink. Especially, you know, when it kind of comes around summertime, you know, you'll definitely impress your friends with that. Uh, like I say, you know, I can also make you know, part of a, you know, a, a cocktail, whatever. Take your pick. What I'm saying is, it's really, really nice. Uh, so that's it, really. It's just a waiting game now. Um, and a tidying up game, so I'm gonna tidy up this crime scene, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, thumbs up, and share it if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye bye.